Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that currently cognitive exams are going on for different different profiles, Gen C, Gen C Pro and Gen C Next. And now within next 5 to 10 days, interviews will also be starting. So what we have done, we are starting this interview preparation series of Cognitant on our channel, wherein we will be discussing the latest interview experiences for different different profiles. In this particular video, I will be discussing the latest interview for Cognizant Gen C interview. Okay, Cognizant Gen C profile, but in coming days, I will be sharing interviews for Pro, Gen C Pro and Gen C Next as well. So guys, make sure to follow this, this series till end and make sure that in each video, you are watching the video till the end because every question will be important for you and lot of questions can repeat also in your exams. For Cognizant, the important subjects include DBMS and SQL and this interview is 90% based on DBMS and SQL only. Make sure to watch each and every question till the end okay so guys now let's start this video make sure to you make sure that you hit hit like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this sharing group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay so now let's start the video okay so guys the first question is introduce yourself and again it's very important question as per your interview is concerned you can include your education background your skills your uh, projects your internships any certif uh, any uh, research paper you have published, uh, your extracurricular activities, anything you can answer in this particular introduction and you will be good to go. Okay. Now, next question is very deeply about projects. So guys, see what are the questions that can be asked from your project. First of all is explain your project in detail. What is the technology stack you have used in this project? The questions related to that technology stack. Maybe if you have used Java, then question related to Java can be asked. Maybe Python. Anything can be asked. Okay. Very common projects in colleges are related to machine learning or Android. So these technology cross questions can come to you. Okay. So you should have a preparation. Okay. Now, if you want to understand how to explain your project in detail and what are the commonly asked questions in your uh, from your project that can be asked from you, the links I have given in the I button or in the description box. Make sure to watch that video dedicated for your project section. Okay. Moving ahead. Next question is. What are the types of SQL language? So there is DDL, DML, DQL, DCL, TCL. In DDL, data definition language, create, alter, drop, examples. DML, data manipulation language, insert, update, delete. DQL is data query language. So it will normally select statement. Next is data control language, grant and revoke to give some permission to our user to revoke some permission from the user. Okay. TCL is transaction control language. Okay. Commit rollback save point. Okay. So commit is when entire things are done and you have committed the result in the database. Rollback is if there is certain issue while uh, connecting to database or while saving it in DB, then rollback happens. Okay. Next is save point in which you can like save your results at in intermediate states. So that is what a save point is. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question is implement grant and revoke first of all what are grant and revoke commands so grant command is used to give up certain privileges to user revoke command is used to revoke specific privileges from user so now if you have to write a command so grant select on employees to user one what it means user one has now the permission to select the rows in the employees table next is revoke command so revoke insert on employees from user one that user one does not have now permission to insert into the employee table so we have revoked that thing okay so this is what a difference between grant and revoke okay so guys before moving ahead in this video i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have important interview it subject notes and these are our best sellers till now 1844 people have bought it okay so if you will open these notes what you will find you will find that there are total 12 subjects which are covered in these notes including c java dbms questions sql questions including these total 12 subjects which are important for your interview are covered okay okay once you will get these notes what you will see you will see that there are total 12 pdfs each pdf for each subject and for every subject we have at least 20 to 25 important questions of that subject which are very commonly asked in the interviews okay this is not just valid for cognizant but it is valid for different companies also okay so if i will show you the sample like i told you in cognizant dbms and sql are very important subject so let's just see the dbms sample 
so uh, where it is just a second yeah so yeah dbs dbm is important interview questions and answers okay so if you open this pdf you will find that we have a proper question we have a proper answer for that question that how you have to explain that in the interview so around 20 to 25 questions we have for dbms which are very commonly asked in the interviews and similarly if i will open the sql pdf you will find that we have around 10 to 15 sql queries which can help you prepare for your interviews we have a proper table then if you will go below you will find the questions and the queries also answers also so all the 12 subjects are covered in these notes which are commonly asked in the interviews so if you think then that these notes can help you for your preparation you can see we have received 4.2 out of 5 star and total 1844 people have bought it so these notes have helped many people and if you think these notes can help you in preparation for your interviews do check them out the links are in the description box and they are at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and the access is also for the lifetime so i hope this thing is clear to you links are in the description box let's now continue in the video yeah next question was difference between union and union all so union combines the result and removes duplicate this is the major understanding union all combines the result and keeps duplicate okay so this is in this uh, in unius union the duplicates are removed in union all duplicates are kept okay so these these are the queries for union and union all okay so i hope this question is also clear to you if you are liking the video till here you are finding it informative make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join the telegram group links are in the description box next is implement cursor so again what are first of all you should know what are cursors and your command for implementing the cursor you can google it okay and you should write in the comment section what is a cursor this is a question for you what is a cursor command to implement the cursor next question is what are indexes and what are its types so first of all what are indexes indexes improves query performance by speeding up the data retrieval so let's suppose you are selecting there are million of records in a table and you are doing select star on that table so millions of records will be fetched from db so in normal uh, normal case the operations will be big o of n but let's suppose you have done indexing on certain column then when we are fetching the all the rows it will be fetched in big o of log n manner okay big o of log n okay so i hope uh, this is clear to you okay next is types of indexes there can be types uh, different types of indexes clustered index non clustered index unique index and composite index so clustered index sorts and stores data in a table physical order tables physical order okay non clustered index stores a pointer to the actual data okay unique index ensures all values in columns are unique they can be null but unique also composite index index on multiple column if we have a composite primary key so in that case we use composite index i hope this is clear to you next question is what are triggers a trigger uh, a trigger automatically executes when a specified events occur insert update or delete so see what happens is let's suppose you are maintaining a table and there is a history table as well so whenever you are doing certain operations on table a you want that the operation that we are doing it's also created in the history table as well that what operation we did so we can add trigger on that table that on select or on insert this trigger will be fired on update this trigger will be fired okay so, so similar like this we can do so the, this is what a trigger are in the sql okay so now, now let's move towards the next question but are different types of joins type different types of joins in sql so let me write it there can be four types of joins one is inner join okay what are inner join ne uh, next is uh, outer join no, sorry left join then there is right join and then there is uh, self join and there is outer join as well so five outer join as well okay now what happens in inner join so if two tables are getting joined so all the all the rows which are common in both tables will be taken okay in which the id field is common will be taken out this is what a inner join is to it is used to find the intersection between two tables left join is when two tables are getting joined the common rows will be taken out and the rows which are present in the left table but not in right will also be taken in right join it is opposite of left all the intersection rows will be taken out and all the rows which are there in the right table but not in the left table they will also be taken out 
Next is self join. A table getting multiplied or getting joined on itself is known as self join. Outer join is left join plus right join. It's that simple. So I hope the types of joins are clear to you. Next question is and the last question of this interview was difference between primary key and unique key. Explain with example. So primary key ensures unique value. The major difference between primary key and unique key is primary key cannot be null but unique key can be null. Okay. So primary key there can be only one primary key in one table. It might be composite but primary key will be one. But there can be multiple columns with a unique constraints on them. Okay. So and both creates uh, so yeah primary key creates a clustered index whereas unique creates a non clustered index. So I hope this question is clear to you. So guys this entire interview of this Gen C profile lasted for around 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Mostly the questions were focused on questions were focused on SQL and DBMS. There was one Python question as well to reverse a string. Okay. If I will tell you to reverse a string. So there is again it's very easy to reverse a string in Python. You can write in, a, in one line only. So but major thing to note here in this video is you should follow DBMS and SQL for your cognizant interview. They are very much important. Okay. Sometimes one or two aptitude questions are also asked in cognizant. I will be coming up with more such videos for Gen C, Gen C Next, Gen C Pro interview experiences in the future. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me and do join this telegram group okay it is dedicated for uh, uh, 225 batch students all the links you will find in the description box and also i have we have discussed earlier in this video about the about these interview preparation notes wherein all the subjects are covered so do check them out also if you think they can help you in your preparation the links you'll find in the description box thank you for watching this video